Hi. Last time um, we began a discussion of extinctions. Um, there are those periods of time in geologic history where there's been a wholesale dying out of unrelated species. And we talked about several explanations that may apply, many of them are reasonably difficult to assess. And then we got to the category of catastrophic events and uh, started talking about um, the extinction of the dinosaurs, particularly uh, in the Cretaceous tertiary boundary. And so we'll really kind of concentrate on that. Um, as long as we're talking about the extraterrestrial catastrophic uh, uh, possibilities. Uh, we talked about Walter Alvarez. Um, Walter is a geologist with the U.S. Geological Survey in Denver. Uh, had been working on the Cretaceous marine sequence around the United States for a long time. Um, wanted to look at the sequence in Gubbio, Italy, uh, where it had been studied and where the uh, boundary uh, between the two units had been well established for a long period of time. And you may recall I indicated that he collected limestones below the contact, the black shale at the contact, and then the limestones above it for foraminifera. Didn't find any forams in the boundary layer, in the dark shale layer, uh, which of course was what he was interested in. He wanted to try to prove that that was either Cretaceous or tertiary. Um, when he didn't find anything in it, he did the elemental analysis, looking at trace elements contained within it. And I think this is where we pretty much left off at the end of the hour. Uh, on Monday, it turns out that the boundary layer, which is this layer right here, is incredibly enriched with respect to the element permidium, an element that is not typically found in abundances above a few parts per trillion, um, uh, but in this particular case, we're looking at something like 3,000 parts per trillion in terms of its total abundance, which is exceedingly high. Um, Walter was perplexed by this, so were his colleagues, and um, that Thanksgiving, uh, he went home. And home for Walter uh, was Berkeley, California. Walter's father uh, was Louis Alvarez, the late Louis Alvarez, Nobel laureate in physics. And they were sitting at the dinner table at Thanksgiving, and Walter was telling his father about this perplexing distribution of iridium uh, that he found in this particular bed. And Louis decided that he'd pitch in here and said the only place he knew where iridium occurred naturally in great abundances were in certain meteorites uh, that arrive at the sur surface of the Earth. So right away, the concept that what might have produced that layer of dark fine grain silt at the boundary was ash from a collision between a huge meteor with the Earth. 